we have been talking over the last few weeks on how to receive what God has provided. So let's read Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21, and we'll review uh, the first four steps that Abraham took, which we covered in the previous two Sundays. Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him whom he believed, God, who gives life to the dead, and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. So that was the first step. He believed God. The second step, verse 18. Who contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. So that was the second step that we saw. When there was no reason for hope, he still believed. The third step that we uh, we saw uh, is in verse 19 and not being weak in faith he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb so here's step three he did not let his prevailing circumstances or situations weaken his faith the next verse that's verse number 20 gives us step four what did Abraham do? It says, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. So verse 20, the first part of that verse is step number four. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. So to waver really is to be in a place of doubt. And the Greek word actually means to be divided in your mind it is you're at dispute within your own mind that means your your mind is divided you're going in two different directions you're at variance with yourself or sometimes we would say hesitate or you're in doubt so he did not doubt the promise of God through unbelief he didn't wave at the promise of God through unbelief so What's he telling us here? He's saying that unbelief can put us in this place of wavering at the promise of God. Unbelief. And uh, unbelief can come from so many different sources. Sometimes these this thoughts of unbelief can come from our own minds. Because remember, we said in the very beginning, the very first message, that faith is of the heart and it is the evidence of things not seen. That means faith is being convinced. It's having this conviction of what our mind is not able to perceive. It is not perceptible to our mind. And so obviously your mind is going to be questioning these things. But that doesn't mean you cannot have faith. Because faith is of the heart. With the heart, man believes. Now sometimes, the unbelief could come through, from, come, come through well-meaning people around us. You see, we have friends, we have people around us, and not everybody is tuned in to the Word of God. They may, not, they may be believers in the sense that maybe they are born again, but maybe they don't know what you know about the Word. A third source of doubts and unbelief, of course, is from the enemy, the devil. The devil is very faithful to come and cause, uh, you know, to throw in thoughts of doubt and unbelief in your mind. And sometimes it's the enemy just throwing in those thoughts of fear and thoughts of doubt and thoughts of unbelief, trying to cause you to waver at the promise of God. Now, you cannot prevent those thoughts from coming, but you can prevent them from robbing your faith. And one of the key things you and I must learn to do is to confess our faith. Why? Because when you speak your faith, when you confess your faith, it is you putting up your shield of faith. We're going to look at one more a step of Abraham's faith before we close. And that's also in verse 20. In the latter part of verse 20, he says, He was strengthened in faith giving glory 
to God. So this is step number five. What happened to Abraham? He became strong in faith by praising God. He was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. So what do you do? As you are believing God and saying, God, I want to receive what you've provided. And I believe it's mine. This is the promise of God. What must we do? We can become strengthened in our faith. Our faith can become strengthened as we give glory to God, as we give praise to God. So you become stronger in faith by praising God. Give praise to God. And you'll be strengthened in your faith and praise Him before even the blessing is made visible.